Welcome to Entertainment Brief, the newest show on the WCLG network. What's your name, bud? Oh, I'm Austin Claus. <laughs> and I'm Chris. We have a great show planned out for you today with multiple segments you will come to know and love. I am so excited for today, so let's just get right into it. Yes, let's just get right into it. First of all, Entertainment Breach. Well, this glorious segment features different segments consisting of challenges, discussions, and skits. You'll see some of these segments in pre-recorded bits, and some of them will be ri live right here. You know, we've been working on this for such a long time now, from the idea to the proposal, up to the recording and editing, and now we're here. We're here. Yes, we are. You know, it's... It's just been a wild ride, especially, I, our viewers don't really know, but we've had a lot of uh, different problems trying to get this going. I, I don't know about you, a yeah. lot of editing. He no. wasn't even supposed to be the co-host. No, I wasn't supposed to be the co-host, but uh, here we are. Yep. So. My idea has spawned into this. Yes. The brains and the bronze, and if the you bronze. will. bronze. He does everything else. I'm just here. I'm the, the editing, a lot of the music composition. I'm just so here yeah. to look pretty. Anyway. Uh, well. Our first segment for today is a little cooking challenge we like to call Taste or Waste. Let's get into it. Absolutely. Let's get right into it. Take it away, past us. Welcome to Taste or Waste, our beloved cooking show where two amateurs at cooking try to cook. And we are, as you said, amateurs, we are not good at what we do. And especially considering we are not in the kitchen right now. We're in the dorm special. Specifically my dorm, because we have no kitchen that is available to use. What are we doing today, Chris? We are making a chocolate chip cookie in a mug. In a mug. Specifically this Miles Morales mug, which this, is very interesting. The stove isn't for us anymore. The stove is not for us. Not for this time. Not for the first ever Taste or Waste that we are recording. The first ever segment we're recording, as a matter yes, of fact. Yes, our first very segment, and we're going to have such a good time. More future memories to come. Absolutely. The first of many. Let's get right into it, Chris, Absolutely. shall we? Let's do this. Yes. So, welcome to the floor, where we will be making our food for today. It's a floor. Yes, you are correct, Chris. Let's just uh, make sure we don't let any of the food touch the, uh, the actual floor, I unless hope it's not. in here. Okay, so first ingredient, uh, usually sugar. So yeah. let's just add some of that in there. there. Yeah. So our first instruction is to mix together in a small bowl the softened butter softened and butter. sugar until cream. Oh, Chris. I, you know, I think that might be enough su sugar. Chris, I remember, feel like that's... Okay, it's enough sugar. Chris, remember when I was talking about the softened butter? And yep. I was trying to leave it out for a little bit. So this isn't very soft. It's, you know so what? You're right. It's a, very soft. You got a plate? You got a plate around here? Uh, I might. I don't know actually. Yep. So, let's get the butter out and onto the plate. Let's. I would say let's just put it in for five seconds. Five seconds. You got it, pal. All right. So we're just gonna have to use this. Okay. So let's. Cut that. That's about right. Oh, I actually wait, don't wait. know if we ever said this. We don't have any like measuring stuff. We don't. Okay. So, and I'm pretty sure that is way too much sugar, it's to be right. honest. We're going to have it sweet. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. No, we'll, make a bigger, we'll make a bigger proportion then to accommodate for all the sugar I put in. I like that idea. So we'll just start doubling our, yeah, we'll double our, the our eyeballed ingredients. Our eyeball, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Alright, let's get so some. Just, just wow, get that some. is really melted. Yeah, it's alright. Right. Oh, oh, don't get put it. the whole stick in. Get it liquidy. I'm gonna get a little bit more right liquid in there. Oh, getting all the liquid let's butter just get some in liquid. there. That's alright. Right, we're making cookies. We're making cookies, you know, there's never a wrong way until there is. Oh, it's creamy. Oh, we're, we're doing it well. More butter? Oh, it's not. Enough. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to eat this after. I will. I will. So next up, we have to stir in the egg yolk, vanilla, or actually we do not have vanilla, sea salt, and baking soda. So as he's mixing this up, egg time again. Oh, oh, egg time. Egg time. Egg time. Let's crack that egg. Let's get that yolk out. Uh, let's here. Let's bring this up to the camera. We're going to just grab the yolk. Just like that. I need 
that. So. Perfect. So we are going to add in the egg yolk. This is our humble beginnings, Chris. Our humble, humble Open beginnings. This. We also need a pinch of salt. Oop, that's a little much. Let's get the salt in there. Yeah. Let's there this, we go. Make this all salty. Give it a little extra salt. I like my thing. I like my. I like my cookies having that little extra salt. So, uh, what's next, Chris? Well, after okay. we mix in the egg yolk, vanilla, well, vanilla, sea salt, and baking soda, we need to add the flour and chocolate chips and stir until it's put together. Okay. So the flour, we need two and a half teaspoons. Of. We don't know what two and a half teaspoons is. Swing it. <sighs> Slowly. All right, let's not add any more. More flour, please. Flour boy. More flour? Sir, yes sir. We need a little bit just a smidge. That was not a smidge. I'm gonna break your whisk here. You're gonna break my whisk? Alright, add some cook uh add some chocolate chips and then we are done. Let's pour it in there. Right there. This is the close up, but surprisingly, uh dorm room chocolate chip cookies aren't doing is it isn't going the worst? We're doing actually pretty well. So so next up, get the mug. We make our mug cookie. Yeah. So let's put this in there. I wash my hands. Don't worry. So we are putting it in our very in well my very own Miles Morales mug from Universal Studios. Very fun. Let's scoop it all in. Sorry about the interruption, we are back, and we welcome my roommate. Hello. Joey DeVito. Hello. <laughs> hey, future Chris here. Bit of a footage problem, but just pretend we put the mug in the microwave. Okay, thanks. Uh, as the microwave finishes up, you maybe you hear the beep, maybe you don't. We don't know. I'll get it. Well, Chris, our first segment we've ever made. And we don't even know if it looks... Let's show the camera. All right. This is our mug cookie. I think it's still sliding. I don't think it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is bubbling. It's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers. I'm just going to take it down. Hot. That is very hot. Very delicious. <laughs> it's actually really good. Is this a taste or waste? I yeah. say taste. Kinda. It tastes if you have the right materials. This, I will say, for our setup, I think it's really good. I think Austin really loves it. Mm. Lovely. Loves it so much you might need some water. Let's just go back to the office. Back over to Future Us. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chris. That cookie was awful. Yeah, no, I'm. We should not have said taste. I'm you gonna be said honest. taste. I, I said you. Sa okay, hold on now. You said. Oh. You said kinda. We just we watched needed, it. I said kinda. More of like in a bad tone. Yeah. So that was more of sarcasm. All right. Whatever. If you say so. Okay. Well, when we come back, we introduce our first live segment of the show, as well as a little segment about an obsession of mine. All of this after the break. Oh, he loves his obsessions.
welcome back to the interview show. I'm Matt J. Bly. This is Charlie Harkins. We're kidding. Welcome back to Entertainment Breach with Austin and Chris. Uh, let's get back into it. Absolutely. For this next segment, Austin will be giving us a little presentation. The catch? I made it. And he has never seen it before. So, welcome to We're Proud to Present. So, would you like to start us off? Yes. All right. So, I don't know what this presentation is, but let's get right into it. Let's see. Let's begin, shall we? Mm. Steve Harvey, a man, a man we all respect for the way he dresses, his talent on, of course, of course, uh, Family Feud, uh, a, a, a national show. treasure. National treasure. I national love that treasure. show. Watch it at uh, night. This is a presentation about Steve Harvey and uh, what we know he did. Steve Harvey, as you may or may not know, scammed so many people with his shovel business. It was he, such a terrible business. I was going to go a different way with that, but we're on TV. Uh, so Steve Harvey, he scammed so many people with the shovel business. And what you may not know is... Who helped him? Willie. We know what you did, Willie. We, you and your, or, your orange Oompa Loompas, we know, we know what you did. You and Steve... You, you think we could just pay off the, pay off every other news place. But we know. Me, me and Chris we know. know. Right. Well, we well, know the next? scam that's going on. Ooh, is that, is that <laughs> that's Matt, Matt J. Bly. <laughs> is that Matt? <laughs> that's Matt J. Bly. Uh, All right. Uh, Matt, one of the victims of Steve and Willie, uh, he, as you can see, he has really let himself go ever since the incident. The hair. Oh. <laughs> We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna skip. Yeah, one. you know I. Oh, Is careful that it? there. Nope. We also got uh, Elmo. Elmo up here. Elmo, another victim. Uh, he's been living on the streets ever since this shovel scam has shut down Sesame Street, has has brought it into poverty, and uh, it's it's truly it's truly disgraceful. It's on been what Willie and Steve has done. It's been so hard on the families, including Can, including Candace. Once a prominent Disney star, now what is that? <laughs> That's that is our uh, AP uh, Mike Neckers. Uh, Mike. He's Candace has become Mike. Candace has become Mike. Uh, uh, that's truly it's truly a dark path. Nobody wants to become Mike. Sorry, Mike. We love you, Mike. We love you, Mike. And I believe that is that's the it. end of the we're presentation. Ending on, we're ending on Mike. Are you kidding? We, we can just keep him up here. Mike Mike is great. We Mike, love Mike. Yeah, <laughs> we do love Mike. Anyway, what's next? Oh, okay. So, for anyone watching, let's come over here for a second. Thank it's you. Obsession. For anyone watching who doesn't know, I have a slight, a very slight obsession with hockey. To totally slight. Nothing too big. He hasn't made it his whole personality. It is not my whole personality. It is. So I follow a lot of different aspects of it, from the different teams, mainly the New York Rangers, because they are objectively the best team in the entire National Hockey blah, League, blah, blah, blah. Uh, to trade rumors, to even contract values, like all the different uh, val uh, cap hits, for all that stuff. So I thought, why not talk about it? So this is the Hockey 100, where I talk about hockey in 100 seconds or less. Take it away, pass me. Welcome to the Hockey 100 with yours truly. Let's get right into it. First off is the New York Rangers, objectively one of the best teams in the NHL. The best team, if you ask me. They were just handed their first loss of February after going on a 10-game winning streak. Now, who could have ended that loss? Was it the Boston Bruins? Was it the Florida Panthers? It was the Columbus Blue Jackets. It was the Columbus Blue Jackets, the 29th ranked team in the entire league. Gave them their loss of February. You know, I really don't know how a team is going to be able to defeat all these top teams, such as Colorado and Dallas, and then lose to Columbus. But, you know, maybe it was just a bad game for Jonathan Quick, you know, the goalie that was not in the net for the majority of that streak. Maybe Igor should have been in. That's all I'm saying. Next up, Barry Trotz is told the media that UC Soros will likely stay in Nashville past the trade deadline. Look, 
I'm not a Nashville fan, but they need a retool. They need a rebuild after the seasons that they've had, especially in the last like couple years. That loss to not to excuse me to Pittsburgh was not necessarily a great one. That just sent their team. <sighs> they need a retool. I don't know why they're keeping them. Finally, it looks like the Yzerman plan for Detroit is starting to come to fruition. They're looking to be buyers in this trade deadline and maybe getting a few key pieces that can lead them to maybe a deep playoff run. Honestly, I don't see them going for the cup, but definitely a good playoff team. That's all from now. Back to the studio. Hey, bud, it's oh, over. Oh, sorry. Your hockey just bored me so much. Oh. It's not that boring. You talked about, like, statistics. Listen. It's supposed to be a fun show, Chris. It is a fun show. Listen, but anyone that likes hockey will know that liberties. it's fun. I get that, his liberties. That's what I believe. Well, anyway, what's next? Well, when we come back, we go around the Murano Campus Center asking a greatly important question. What is that question you might ask? Stay tuned to find out. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. We'll deep dive into our feelings and our real talk segment. Stay tuned because it's about to get real. And it could be your last chance to see one occur for two decades as the next time one will be invisible over the continental U.S. He's like 84. There are four police in the hospital that can press the door possibly. They mix with oxygen and nitrogen. Welcome back to the show. I hope you enjoyed that break as much as we always do. Oh, we always love those we breaks. We always fight during the breaks, don't we? Yeah, we always throw hands, just go. Yeah. That's All why right. he has bloody nose. Uh, that, okay. Let's get ready for our next segment now, shall we? So for this new segment, Austin goes out into Murano Campus Center asking a really important question. Now, unfortunately, I could not be there for this segment as I was sick, but we had a special guest to help out. Who was that special guest? Well, let's find out. You were sick. Hello, sir. I uh, just got a quick question. All right, we got two questions here. So would you rather every time you cheat, you have to eat an entire pumpkin whole, or every time you lie, your pants just spontaneously combust on fire? What's your answer? I think the pants on fire, just because I think it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Like, in the, like you have to eat an entire pumpkin whole, stem and all. It's just not, not good. Um, I think I'll take the pumpkin. I'll, I'll eat the pumpkin. You'll eat the pumpkin? Tally, tally the pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin eater. Pumpkin eater, give him the marker. There's your tally. Um, I'd have to go with the pants one on that one. The pants? I, I don't really feel like, I don't really feel like eating pumpkin. Yeah. P oof. Pants. Pants. And for you? I gotta agree. I gotta agree with the pants. I agree with the pants. I've heard, I've heard arguments for both. Just looking for some people. It's really empty out here because it's raining. <sighs> we're having fun though, right, Joey? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're having a great time. 
Yeah. You guys got a moment? Uh, you alright with being recorded? Yeah. All right. Would you rather, every time you lie or anything, uh, your pants just spontaneously combust on fire, or every time you cheat, you have to eat an entire pumpkin hole, stem and all. Stem and all. No, um, oh. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of my pants getting set on fire where I feel like, you know, I feel like it would be a challenge, but I feel like I can eat a whole pumpkin hole. It would just take a while, so. Very time consuming, though. Right. Yeah, very time consuming, but, you know, less pain than the pants, for right. sure, yeah. you know? We got a question for you. All right, I don't know you personally, but Joey knows you, so we can just come up to you. Um, every time I lie, my pants got sweaty. All right, all right. I feel like I get used to the pumpkin eventually. You, you also pumpkin. lie a lot more than you cheat. Alright, so. alright. Alright, another vote for the pumpkin. Alright. I've eaten pumpkin before and it tastes of rotten onions. So, so pants? Uh, that being said, uh, that being said, uh, I don't cheat. So, okay. I, don't, I won't be eating any pumpkins anymore. Alright, alright. I'm having Joey do two, because uh, he thought it was fun and wanted to do it. The cameraman Joey is uh, going to interview some people. Question. Would you rather, every time that you cheat on anything, test, game, whatever, uh, you have to eat a pumpkin hole, stem, the entire thing, or uh, every time you lie, uh, your pants just spontaneously catch on fire? I'm saying lie. Okay, okay. I would eat the pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah. Really? This, this is a bit of a tough choice for me. You know, uh, I, although I think I'm going to have to go with, uh, uh, what was the full option for pumpkin? Uh, choose your, choose your pumpkin. Either. Yeah, I, I'd rather eat a whole pumpkin than, like, suffer one of the worst injuries ever. All right. So, I gotta say, we make fun of Matt JY a little too much here. Chris, we gotta stop. We do have to stop. We keep harassing him. So, anyways, now you might have heard Austin say something about a second question. Yep. What was that second question, Austin? The second question is whether I should shave or not. As you can see by the results and by my facial hair, people told me to keep it by a landslide. Mom, I'm sorry. Well, let's just see them talking about it. Let's roll the clip. Now, the next question is, my beard, or wherever it is, shave it or keep it? All right, now we know. I think, I think you should personally you know, keep it. Keep it? All I right. Think, I think, oops, there we go. I think you should keep it for now. All right, we'll keep it for now. I shave it. Shave it, all right. My beard, or whatever my facial hair is right now, should I keep it or just shave it all off? I think you should keep it going. Keep it going, keep all right. Going. I think you keep it. I'm, I'm a person, I'm a big, Right. Guy, you know, I, I, th I, I, I think I think you keep it. Shame it, definitely. Shame it. All right. I want you to shave it. Okay. You look like. Um, this is why. This is why you I was look like a um, a badger, to be honest with you. Oh. In the recording. You know, I gotta say, Special was right, but the fish here, you do kind of look. Like I don't a look like a badger, Chris. I say you look like a badger. I don't. All right. Anyone else think I look like a badger? I think I think so. Stop raising your hand. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Studio thinks that he's a badger, but that's okay. So when we come back, we will talk about today's question from Talk of the Town. It's not. Uh, my fault. I actually just spoiled it. I was supposed to say, see what our answer is. Well, that's all right. Everywhere. We'll talk about it. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team 10. What? What's what's going on? Yeah, it's, dude, this, we go on at like 11.30. It's like... No! What do you mean no? It's 10.30. 10.30? Yeah, it's 10.30. What do you mean it's 10.30? Hey, don't touch that. That's my ladder. Hey, man. Whoa. Did you know this book was already discounted 10%? Wow. Wow. Get a closer for that one. Matthew, news. Can you look at that. Can we go back inside? I, I want to sleep in the studio again. enter our final block for the night. But that's okay, because we have one more segment for you guys. We got answers about a question from around campus today. What is our answers? Let's talk about it very quickly. All right, the answers are, and the results are by almost even, actually. Uh, pumpkin, people would rather eat an entire pumpkin. And people think I should keep it. I, I don't agree. I don't understand. Here, Every let me let me get the marker for a second. I honestly say, because I never got a chance to, I'd say shave it. Yeah, because you know me personally. Everyone just wants to see me suffer. Anyway. Yeah. Well, let's ask the stu let's yeah, ask the people studio. in the studio. Come here. How about we all, let's all come up. Let's see. Yeah. What do we Cast think about uh, the votes? Cast your votes. We have... Shave it 100%. Shave it 100%. Am I actually... Uh, Emily, Mike. Is, is it going to be shaved by next Good week? Lux. Who knows? Bye. Womp. <laughs> Yeah, I think you got a good idea there. I definitely say shave it. Yeah. I want to uh, see a baby All right, face. all right. They're, they're, the people and on I, the radio are saying shave it. Yeah, we, we could add like a few more over here. Am I uh, free? From the uh, control. Everyone, everyone control room says shave it. How many people are in the control room? Six everyone, shave it. Six, six shave it? All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, it's, six. Oh, it's not enough. It, wait, wait. No, oh, it is. It it's is enough. enough. Awesome, we'll oh. shave it next Mom, episode. Mom, you're going to be proud. Let the My beard's going to be gone, and it will never return unless I get a punishment. Uh, we'll see. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be a future segment. Yep, all right. So, you know, I mean, the question was really supposed to be uh, the pumpkin or the... Uh, the yeah, the pumpkin. Uh, what do you guys think for the pumpkin? I Personally, I would say the pumpkin. I don't know. Everyone... We got a few all pants right. in the studio. Pants. All anyway, right. Chris, uh, that was our first episode. That was our first episode. We had a lot of fun. You know, I got to say, I think we'll it was say. a great time. Yeah, we had a great time. This was a great time. Uh, I, I will, uh, fun show. I can't wait to see how it will go throughout the semester. We need, to, we need to seriously stop harassing Matt. Yeah, well, that's, that's one thing. We will absolutely stop harassing Matt. Matt, we're sorry. Matt, we apologize. We love you. We love the interview show. I uh, we'll watch it. We never watched Instagrams. it. No. That's okay. We'll watch. We'll Instagram, watch it for next time. Uh, our Instagram should be right here. Look, yep. Look Instagram. At it. Look uh, at it. Go follow it. Uh, yeah. We'll be posting. Uh, thank you guys so much, and we will see you in the next episode. Yes, we will. We have thirty seconds. You you just did that for no reason. Oh. How do you feel? I feel good. Good. Have a good night, people. We'll see you in a few weeks.